Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the Stratus Rehab Project. Today is number 111. So yeah, let me get you updated. Okay, last time you saw this boat, <clears throat> it ran like a bat out of hell for about 45 seconds and then died. Well, what we thought was a fuse was not a fuse. The 2000 fuel pump quit. And it took me a while to find uh, the replacement for it. You know, the fuel pump itself um, is no longer available through normal channels. Um, I tried to order a couple and talked to several people that specialize in old boat parts. And that was a no-go. Um, I ordered one. It came in. It's not the right one. Um, so I did finally find on eBay Motors the correct fuel pump and vapor separator depending on who you talk to just got different names but this unit basically snaps on to the side of the block with one pin took me a bit to get the other one out um i did break uh which i got a fitting here on top this one a little plastic piece when i was taking the old one or trying to get the old one loose that snapped off so i did have to find one of these totally anyway so it's ready to go in um took me three weeks approximately to get it here so the plan now is to get the new fuel pump on and make sure it runs again um and then i'm gonna jump on the finishing of the gel coat which means flake and clear and polishing um during those three weeks i have gotten the triton uh, ready to sell and it is no longer here it is at cross industries um in haines city uh 2008 triton completely refurbished 2008 mercury you know 250 pro xs completely rebuilt with new lower and a new uh power head a couple years ago i mean it's just it's ready to fish so anybody looking for a good boat at a reasonable price check with them um we did finish the z20 project uh it is uh, ready to fish uh, Josh and I fished it in a tournament and then we've parked it because that really is going to be the travel boat the big 522 their big red girl she is up and running and nation Nathan and I fished it in a no advanced electronics tournament uh, a couple weeks ago and won it um, and then we've been doing guide trips uh, we did a trip uh, Saturday where we boated a lot of big fish in Toho after the MLF guys left so yeah we've been fishing a little bit and working in a rod shop i finally got that work caught up so i can come back out here um okay, it's been exhausting huh, honestly and now we're in middle towards the end of may and we have 90 high 90s during the middle of the day so it's going to be a few hours in the morning of bearable temperatures so we can get this done also i didn't mention this but we are working on a new shop um, plans are going in to permitting hopefully next week and at some point we're gonna have a first class boat building place we've been looking for the next project after this one and i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna build one from scratch we're gonna build about an 18 foot multi-purpose like a multi-species boat from scratch once i get this one done but while i have been working on this one i will i really need to thank you guys um some of the comments and you guys subscribing you don't know how much you guys don't understand how encouraging that is this is a grind and we pushed hard to meet our early may deadline of putting it in the water and i was burnt out it's exhausting work um slow progress um when you're in it every day it looks a lot faster when you guys see it once a week but uh it is a grind and uh i beat myself up a little bit physically and i'm back and ready to go again so this is not the normal video this is more of a thank you video and an update to where we are so um here's what you guys can look for next week we're going to put the fuel pump back on and get it running i'm going to get everything taped off that is on the boat that's permanent and start with a final wet sand 
of the color gel coat and then we're going to jump on spraying the flake and the clear now what i've done over here is my sample piece is my sample piece and it's got you know, a rough texture black and a rough texture of the moon dust i'm gonna do a little wet sanding on this just to get some kind of smoothness and i want to put the flake and the clear over it wet sand that and see how texture transfers through to the finished product i'm not sure i i can't find anybody who uh on youtube who is sure <laughs> i've not seen anybody do what i'm trying to do um maybe i bit off more than i can chew but i'm gonna keep chewing until it's done probably won't do another one like this in this much detail from this bad a shape but um if i do it'll go a lot faster because now i know how to do this stuff um i look towards youtube for a lot of instruction and inspiration and uh there just isn't any on what i'm doing here with bringing it back to factory finish but we're gonna do it together and again thank you guys for subscribing and commenting and all that stuff matters to me um it's free to you guys but it it, it is very valuable to me because i feel like i'm not in this alone i feel like we're doing it together so i got my team over here and you know i'm the laborer but that's fine because that works for me so anyway um the trailer is back uh we need to get working on lights and bunks on the trailer that's what i'm going to do while i'm waiting for cure times and stuff it's on the other side it has been sandblasted and painted and new fenders and is ready to start refurbishing it that'll be a separate video we're going to start on that you know probably on a day where i i'm stuck here for you know a day or two we'll get on that but it's ready to start working on i just got to get the uh, the pressure treated two before's here and i just keep forgetting i'm out you know and about all the time and i forget about it i still am running the construction company too um it runs on autopilot most of the time but sometimes it pulls me in but anyway i've rambled enough again thank you guys for all the comments and we're going to get back on this boat for real starting tomorrow so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time. And we're out.